Lost Treasures in North Carolina, TVN DC. North Carolina offers treasure for any hunter. The Tar Heel State is home to gems, sites of revolutionary, Indian, and Civil War battles, lost gold mines, silver cages, ghost towns, shipwrecks, and beaches where you can find coins. In Mencken County, there's a rich deposit of silver in the Nantahala Mountains known to the Cherokee Indians. The settlers discovered an old Indian named Sonteki guarding a cavern with silver ore behind a large rock shell. Sonteki's people chose him to guard the cavern. However, early settlers avoided exploring the area due to respect for the Cherokee. Eventually, a landslide sealed the entrance, and the mine was forgotten. Years later, evidence of a mining operation was found near the cave's entrance, including an ancient water wheel used to crush silver ore. Although silver has been found in small quantities, the rich deposit remains undiscovered. Another legend involves Thomas Clapham, who discovered a silver vein around Pilot Mountain in the 1760s. Clapham smelted the silver into bullion, concealed the mine, and buried a copper kettle full of silver wads near Richland Creek. After Clapham's death, his heir and an old servant failed to relocate the mine. The story was documented in the 1851 Evergreen magazine. Despite efforts, the mine remains lost. In 1864, the Confederate ship Fanny and Jenny sank off North Carolina's coast. It reportedly carried gold and a jeweled sword for General Robert E. Lee. Neither the gold nor the sword has ever been found. For rock-hounding enthusiasts, the streams between Bryson City and Franklin are ideal for finding rubies, sapphires, and other precious gems. Early settlers in the area initially overlooked the value of these gems. North Carolina is a treasure trove for rock hunters, boasting over 300 different minerals. From rubies and emeralds to functioning gem mines, anyone visiting has a good chance of finding something valuable.